To access Castle Dracula, you must first find the secret passage to the forest ruins. The very same that the Hunchback calls his home. You blow them a little kiss for our dear departed Marishka. It will be my pleasure. This level just consists of two boss fights, and this is the first one. We fight most of the, uh, most of this boss on top of the carriage. We have to dodge to the right to avoid Verona's laser, or to dodge when the platform turns to ice. But when it turns to fire, we need to jump down to the horses. So in case you're not keeping track, that's two attacks we can dodge just by standing up here, and one attack that we need to jump down to dodge. They also shoot fireballs occasionally, but they usually shoot those at the same time as the laser. Now Verona flies back and tries to use a big laser. You can't avoid this by jumping. You have to shoot her enough times to make her stop before the laser fires. But that's pretty much all there is to this fight. It's a little overwhelming and weird at first, but after you figure out how easy it is to dodge the attacks, it's no problem. This is also one of the few instances where having minimum room to dodge doesn't really screw you over because they give you actively another option to use. And yes, you may have noticed that we are back to using the crossbow because, say it with me, it deals the most damage quickly. The pistols are just a worse version of the crossbow, but we do have to use them while we're on the horses. But yeah, the pistols are just a worse version of the crossbow. And the other weapons at our disposal are way too slow for a battle like this, so trying to use them is just ridiculous. You could probably actually just tank this boss fight if you wanted to. I'm almost 100% sure you could. But where's the fun in that, you know? We have to try to dodge. Excuse me, I was shooting. can fly.
You have freed me from my suffering. That path will lead you to the hunchback. You must find him. You must go to Castle Dracula. Wait. There is one more thing. 